hello everyone welcome back to jb graphics youtube channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button and then click on the notification button to get notified whenever i upload new tutorials thank you for watching jb graphics youtube channel and i say god richly bless you okay so we moved in today's tutorial we're going to learn about how to blend picture to background how we, how we will blend our pictures to the background to get a classic work okay so we move to so default i choose a background color click here you get your background color now choose white now you add from your gallery so you click on this plus sign add from gallery i select the image that i want I'm going to select this image so I select it okay I click on my check mark down here this now this is the image okay so whenever you are designing you put your image at the position that you want okay now you see down here down here the image have been cut so we don't want that part to show so we're going to blend it to the background so that you will get a perfect what work so now you select your shape if you come here select shape after selecting shape don't click on your check mark wait until you are done now you scroll down and then choose gradient you see we have gradient you choose your gradient here then you select you see this one is having black on top and white down so click on that and then you click on this plus icon that is to add colors now when you click on it you see the top is black and then the bottom is what white in color so we want white for the bottom white color for the bottom so we just click on this black the arrow here this arrow pointing down here you click on that then you click here to select a color click on this the color too you see we have three rectangular boxes here so the last part click uh, you move the circular thing to the this part so you're going to move it from here from the right side to the left side I mean the last rectangle you move the circular thing over here to your left side so I move it now you can check here on top here you see here you see that there, there is no color showing over there so you click ok now this means that the bottom is having a white hot color and the upper part is having a transparent color so you move the white you move it a little to the right side you see where it is now then if it's okay for you then you click on your check mark okay now you enlarge you enlarge it small you see mm -hmm. then you click on your check mark to position it well so this is it so you can see still it's showing small so you copy the same thing then you position it there again position it there 
again. Now, you can see that the bottom side here, where we were having here, where we were having the flat shape on the image is gone. Now, the picture have blended into the background perfectly. So you can see that we now have a perfect shape. Let's say someone will ask, okay, why if not it's not white? Okay, so let's start all over again. So I click on it. I choose a different background color. Let's see. Mm, no, let should I choose blue? Mm, hot color, hot color. Let me choose. I think gold is okay. So with this, how do I blend? my color okay no let me choose blue i think blue will be fine <laughs> then you add from your gallery you click on this plus icon so from your gallery i'm choosing the same image now you can see that we still having the flat shape over here down here so you click on your shape you click this one in the middle here then you click on your shape so you click on the shape as i said earlier on you don't click on the check mark or the close button you scroll down then you select gradients this gradient select gradient then you choose this as i said this the black and white when you choose the black and white you see the top part is black so we're going to make the top part here to be hot transparent then the white part to be hot blue that of the same color of the background so you click on this plus icon here as where the colors are then the arrow showing downward this when you click on it it means the up color which is the black so you can see here we have this you click on the arrow then you come and click on this color too you click on the color then you see we have three rectangles here as i said earlier so the last part this one you move this circle to the left side here so you move it and then we have a transparent top then you click on this arrow tool then you click on your color tool then you come here you move this you move it to this side where the blue is okay so you select your blue color then you click ok so now you can see that the down part is blue so you can move this one a little bit to the left side you see where i've placed it now so that it will cover some part at least some top if you like it you can make it just like that then you click on ok then you enlarge it click on your check mark so you see you position it in the middle or position at the place where you want to cover the picture you copy so you copy you place it there again so you copy 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 and then you paste you copy you paste until that place is covered okay so i copy again I bring it here you see now that part the rectangular part this part which was showing is not showing anymore now the picture have blended perfectly into my background so this is how we blend picture to its background so the background color you choose same color for your shape and then you blend it with it okay if you have any problem too, you can write it in the comment section or join my WhatsApp 
uh, group and then you channel your question over there so that I give you assistance. Thank you for watching and subscribing to JB Graphics YouTube channel. I say God bless you all.